Okay, and I also checked, like I said, with left-handed spinners, if there was any sort of certain wheel or type or attachment or anything special you needed for uh, left-handed spinning on a spinning wheel, and everybody said no. You just change what hand it is you're drafting on. This is the Polywog wheel from Spinolution, which I love, and I am a dealer, so if you want any have any questions about it, uh, you know, let me know. But... I would definitely recommend it as a great beginning wheel or, you know, only wheel or I just can't say enough good things about it. So anyhow, what you would do is uh, if you were spinning on this, let me get this going, is, uh, see, I, this is, yarn's already there, so let's get in the part where I'm actually attaching on. So the part that would matter was, um, see, I am drafting, which is when you kind of are pulling it back and then smoothing and pulling it back and then smoothing. And uh, I'm doing that with my right hand because I am right-handed. But if you were left-handed, all you would do is you would switch hands, to my understanding. And this is the first time I've ever tried this, so bear with me. <laughs> oh, it's weird. You would be doing that, and then you're doing the drafting Part where you pull back with your left hand. So, uh, let me get that out of the way. So basically, you just change what your active hand is. So this is me attempting a little bit of left-handed spinning. So see, I'm using my left hand to pull back. But, uh, okay, that's enough of that. That's making my head hurt trying to do that. <laughs> but um, as you see, you don't need any sort of uh, special attachment or different technique uh, or anything like that. The one thing I did think about, and like that's why I wanted to show you on this wheel, was uh, not all spinning wheels are kind of set up different. One feature I really like about both of the wheels I have currently is they have a uh, built-in lazy cate, which is where, uh, you know, you can put the other bobbins up here, and then when you're two-plying, which is when you take the two singles and then you twist them together in order to make uh, two-ply yarn, it you'd need a lazy cate in order to, like, you know, hold the bobbins while you're doing that. And on this one, for me, I always have them over here. This was another trick I learned with this particular wheel was you don't want it to get caught up in your drive band because it will drive you crazy and make you cuss and uh, it will ruin your day. So don't do that. So with me, on this particular model of wheel, I bring it, somebody showed me to bring it around the back of this third peg. And so I imagine if you were left-handed, and this is just me imagining, I imagine that you would do better maybe putting them on this side and then bringing your singles around the peg over here. And then you would be two plying in and that way. And then that would give you your left hand is a dominant hand. So that would be, uh, and like I said, that's just on this particular wheel. I know my Lewitt S10, the Lazy Kate was like down here on the, well, you can see better over here, it was down here on the side. So, um, you know, I think, I don't think that would really matter. You would just bring it up on whatever side, then just use your dominant hand. But on the Polywog, or if you had another wheel that was set up kind of on the top like this, I would say maybe bring it around that way. So that uh, was what I found out for you about... There you go. <laughs> that was what I found out for you about uh, spinning or beginning spinning with either a drop spindle or a, uh, a spinning wheel for left-handed people. So I hope that helps. And uh, yeah, so great news. I don't think you need any special equipment or uh, lessons or anything like that. You can spin just like any of the rest of us can spin and uh, you just use your, use your left hand as your dominant one. So anyway, thank you for asking questions and I'm happy to answer any more questions. And if you are finding this video on YouTube or my blog or anywhere else, like I said, if you want to ask questions or of me or anybody else that uh, knows better than me that uh, is maybe in my group, it's a uh, handspun love group. You can, I think that's what it's called. You can find it on my uh, business page, which I know the name of that is Crafty Housewife Yarns uh, Facebook business page. So it's linked off of that too. And it's more of like a social group. I just started to hopefully ask and answer questions and show off projects and, uh, you know, to have other people to be excited about things that are uh, squishy and yarn-like that your husband or best friend might not understand. So that's what that's for. <laughs> so anyway, hope that helps and uh, keep the questions coming. Thank you.